G'day. I'm struggling this morning. I'm very tired. Woke up at uh, 3 a.m. and could not get back to sleep. Shoulder was really sore and I was just wide awake. Don't know. Um, so, we have got a little bit of a brain fart this morning. So, I don't really have much good knowledge thrown, flowing through my head to disperse to anybody. Uh, but it's funny because Courtney got up this morning, um, her alarm went off and then she slept in 15 minutes past her alarm and I saw her huffing and puffing in the bedroom because she gets up and trains at the gym at five o'clock and uh, she just laid back down, it was 4.45 and I said, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I've missed my window to have my coffee before training and I said, are you going to be annoyed at yourself if you don't go to the gym? She said, most likely. I was like, just go. Just get up and go. Create the habit. You want to do it every day. You'll be annoyed at yourself. We're going away all weekend, so she won't have a chance to go to the gym. So I said, just go. So she went. Now she feels a lot better. So the only thing that I can sort of think of, you know, what's been flowing through my head this morning about ways that I've improved myself and adapted to things, like, you know, including you know, an injury, for example, is I've been getting up every morning, I've been training as well. I'm trying the best I can. I use a chair and I use like a yoga bolster and I do like a couple hundred squats and a couple hundred reps of abs and just, just stuff like that just to keep moving. Um, and, you know, talking about balance of all things, like I talk, like to talk about um, is, you know, because I think balance is important to everything going... I, too extreme or not hard enough um, and, and sometimes I feel like uh, you know I should take opportunity to rest like I feel like maybe I've got this shoulder injury because the universe was telling me maybe just take a chill pill and just rest a little bit because I was training <clears throat> up to like 13 times a week if you add up all the jiu-jitsu sessions and all the fit stop sessions um, but one thing I struggle with there with balance is that you know the old me I if you know me uh, and anything about my past, I used to be really overweight. So one of the best, biggest sort of hurdles I had before I went through my illness was a few years before that. I lost about 45 kilos. And obviously all my friends and family know the whole story already. But if you're listening for the first time, you don't. Um, and so that was a you know, really hard, long fought process to lose that amount of weight, changed my life, changed my lifestyle. And it changed a lot of things for the better, or it changed some things for the worse because I kind of did it too rapidly um, and put a lot of stress on my body. Didn't do it the best way nutritionally because I had some bad advice. I was a bit naive about it. So um, yeah, I learned some lessons there of balance as well because it was too extreme and I should have done it more balanced over a long period of time. Because uh, I ended up with different food allergies and, and different things as a result of that because I just cut out this massive amount of food on a really harsh diet. Did the same thing, trained like 12, 13 times a week. I was boxing at that time, lost all the weight. Um, so like, it gave me a good result because I lost all the weight and I've managed to mostly keep it off. Uh, it's been, I think, nearly seven years or something. I've put a bit of weight back on through the times, fluctuated up and down. And um, after I had chemo and stuff, I had put on a lot of weight, like 19 kilos, mostly because of steroids and things like that to try and keep your body and your immune system propped up from killing itself. Um, so I, I get afraid in my balancing now when it comes to exercise. And like I said, I was training 13 times a week, which I wasn't six months ago. I wasn't like it took me two years to get enough energy to drag myself to the gym after I had my treatment. Um, and then once I started, it was just like, once you pop, you can't stop. I just escalated it. I started at two days a week, went to three days a week, went to four days a week, went to five days a week, then five days a week. Then I joined Fit Stop, started training in the morning. So I was training 10 times a week, like once in the morning, once at night, jiu-jitsu, added Saturday, open mat sessions in at jiu-jitsu. Um, and then some of the jiu-jitsu sessions are like back to back. You do two classes, one after the other. So it was like, like I said, like up to 13 times a week that I was training, you know, two to three hours a day. Um, and then obviously I've had this injury, I had to back it off a little bit. But I think, <clears throat> you know, something I've gone through with my personal coach as well, 
um, about getting my head in the right space is that I get a little bit extreme on things. I get a little bit obsessed with things, which is a good trait, but at the same time, it can be just as detri detrimental as it is beneficial, which is like one of these things, like I said, over the last couple of years, I've learned trying to find greater balance. Um, and obviously there's a situation where you're trying to reach goals and you've got momentum, it's good to go in and it's good to go all in 100% because that's how you achieve goals. You stay disciplined, you keep your habits, um, you work on those things every single day until you achieve the goals. A perfect example is with jujitsu this year, like one goal I had for this entire year was to get two stripes on my belt um, for the entire year. And it turns out I got those two stripes within three months because I was just showing up every day, a couple of times a day training and then got rewarded for that effort. So I ticked my goal off there pretty quickly, um, which, which is amazing. Um, it, it's a, amazing the power of writing things down. Just write it down and watch it happen. It's pretty crazy. If you've got goals you want to achieve, this is not something new and I'm not trying to be motivational, but write them down somewhere you can see them every day and you'll be surprised how you unconsciously just tick them off. Um, so like I was saying, you know, I go to extremes and I struggle to find balance in those situations because what I was talking about with my personal coach was that, like, I just want to go to the wheels fall off and um, it's got a lot to do with like fear and stuff I hold on to for different reasons in the past, which is something that I'm trying to let go of, I'm trying to work on with timeline therapy, working with my coach. Um, and like I said to her, because I can go exercise, for example, if I go lift heavy weights, like I get emotional when I lift weights and I train and the harder I train, like in the gym, for example, like I feel like I could cry and I want to scream and I just want to let out this demon inside of me and um it's it's one thing that just kind of really releases a lot of stuff for me but in the same token it's a little bit out of balance because it's it's i'm, I'm doing it to keep fear uh, you know to push fear out and i'm doing it to keep the fear of my old self coming back in which is being overweight lazy not exercising enough because i feel like if i get this any little bump or hitch or speed bump in the road like example, my shoulder, I'm like, oh no, you know, I'm gonna spiral downhill, I'm just gonna start eating crappy food, I'm not gonna train. Um, and that's scary to me because I've been down that path before of being super unhealthy, like most of my teenage life, I was very, very overweight, very unhealthy, uh, a lot of which could have contributed to the health issues I've got today, but I, um, I'm, I'm finding balance at the moment in keeping a solid routine and making sure I'm exercising enough, but also not going to until the wheels fall off and then trying not to let that past me slip in, let those demons take over of whether it's eating habits or poor, poor discipline uh, to be able to get up and train. And like I said, I woke up at three this morning and I was like, oh, so tired didn't get to bed till 10 so I had about five hours sleep i usually aim for a minimum of seven and courtney got up and left and i laid there and i thought oh, i could sleep for another hour and a half but i just got up at five and i just did a little bit of a training routine did all the squats and lifts and bands and things like that and i feel really good and it's just enough for me like i said to keep the prospect and the balance of the old me coming back of eating too much food, being ill-disciplined and becoming out of whack. And um, then also not training hard enough to the wheels fall off and being careful about not injuring my shoulder and just taking that time to rest at the same time. So, you know, that's that's my little spiel about sort of balance and exercise because I've, you know, I've been through all aspects of that as well. I've been through being fat and lazy. I've been through, um, you know, I played rugby, so I played rugby at a high level for a long period of time. Teddy's come to join me. Hey buddy. Come here. Come I, didn't, I didn't do a wee. You didn't do a wee. You are such a good boy. Didn't wear a nappy all night. Good boy. You're so clever. Yeah, so like I said, I've gone those up and downs and backwards and forwards and those fluctuations in weight and my discipline my whole life and I'm finally getting to a point 
where I'm realizing what is a comfortable balance to keep myself healthy, not train too hard so the wheels fall off, um, and not fall back into old bad habits. And it takes a long time. Like it can take a couple of years to, you know, to eight, 18 months to a couple of years to really form a habit where you know that you're not going to slip back into it. Um, so, you know, I've fallen in the trap of being complacent before and not having balance and just, you know, trying something and starting it and failing after a couple of weeks and then giving up and then trying something else. And, but this for the first time in my life, why, um, you know, I want to share a bit of information about myself is that I'm trying to find and, uh, not find, but finally, uh, realizing where my balance is. And it's super important for everything in my mental health, the time I spend with my family, how much I'm obsessing over what my bad habits are, what my good habits are, I'm trying to keep something balanced in the middle of that. Um, but if I could say one thing, if you wake up and you don't feel like exercising, that's the best time to exercise. It's the best thing to do for your head, your body, your mind, your soul, your family, everything. So get up and do it. Like I said to Courtney, get up and do it. You're going to regret it today. Um, and that's all I've got for you today. Uh, we'll see what the Brain Trust brings out tomorrow.